guys, it's Katie with String Expert. Today we're working on part two of the Can Can. Now in part one, we learned all the notes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and play through the entire piece slowly and then work on building speed. So to start out with, we should make sure that we know all the notes and we know them clearly and we can play them really well. So let's go through the entire piece playing through it solely and just double check and make sure that we know everything. Ready? Here we go. it's not quite as much fun as I'm sure you realize it's just kind of boring but having said that this is the most important crucial time for being able to play the instrument well because in this time we go through and we're able to double check all the notes and double check all the fingerings and really make sure that you understand how to play this well then what you want to do is slowly build up that tempo over time until you get to the point where you can play it at a full tempo. But if you sort of just start and try and play everything really fast without perfecting all those details, things do not work very well and you're not going to sound very good. So really make sure that you take the time to really pay attention to all those details. Now, the next thing that you should do is think about how much bow you're using in order to get faster. So when we play some parts of the violin, we want to have these beautiful long legato bows and these full bows. For the can can, we're going to use a very small amount of bow, like maybe half of the bow for the quarter notes and for the eighth notes, just a few inches. This is going to allow you to play much faster. Anytime you're looking for speed in the instrument, you're going to use a smaller bow. So let's play through this again. We're going to go at like a medium pace and we're going to use a very small bow. faster until you can play the entire thing at full speed. Now in order to do this what I would recommend that you do is go through slowly. So start with slow then do medium, now do a little bit faster and then finally we're going to do it at the tempo. So it's like a slow and steady progress where you start off super slow and you sort of move your way up until you can play completely full. Okay so let's try it at a faster pace. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Ready? All right, hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time at String Expert.